Hey everyone, welcome to Devolutions HQ. Today, I'm here with David. Hi. He's one of our service desk advisors here in our customer success department. And uh, he, I invited him today because I wanted some, uh, some, a different take on Remote Desktop Manager. So every week we normally give you guys uh, the latest tips and tricks and Devolutions news and things going on. But I wanted somebody that actually uses RDM every day and knows it back and forth and helps you guys when uh, sometimes you guys call in and have issues and you post things on the forum. Uh, he's one of the guys that helps answer your tickets and uh, he really knows the software in and out. But today we wanted to give you some uh, RDM tips from a power user's perspective. So some of you guys asked for some more like what do you actually do every day? And I thought who better to have than to have David with me to do this today. So David, thanks for yep. coming on the show with us today. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. Hey, we're super excited and I'm excited to learn a thing or two about RDM. The first one is using colors as uh, visual cues. Oh, good. So, yeah. So, so this is using colors in Remote Desktop Manager to highlight different things or so exactly. how does it work? Exactly. It's more, uh, sometimes you work with production servers, sometimes you only work with standard servers. So I want to emphasize the uh, information directly in the screen. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To warn people from if they're working on a certain type of server or not. Okay. Exactly. Please do not restart the server. That's a great idea. Oh man, that, <laughs> how many times has that happened? Okay. <laughs> So we're trying to help you guys out. Okay, so let's take a look. So here I will just start a standard connection. Let's start uh, my connection, RDP connection to Telemark 13. And if I start another type of connection, let's go on a SSH. So that is a day-to-day -day usage. Now we will add the colors. So for database two, so this SSH server, as you could see, I have a little uh, color all around the server. Oh, neat. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's easier to see on the top. If I switch here, I still have a little uh, red overlay on the tab. So I know this server is a production server. Okay. Sometimes it's not enough because sure. the employees doesn't look at that. And uh, we will add another layer for SSH server. So we will also change the background color. Yeah. So, nice. And if I want to move or if I want to work with two different types of servers side by side, I have the non-prod server in the left and I have my production server in the right. So I'm able to test that before implementing or just changing or start restarting the server. Okay. Wow. So even RDP uh, web page, uh, they are able to change the little uh, overlay, the little... Uh, yeah. And then the tab color and everything, yeah. Exactly. That's great. Yeah. Now, where, uh, just so everybody knows, where do we change this uh, this feature? How do, you, how do you select color? So you want to put blue, green, red, whatever. You just right click on the session, you want to add this sure. color. You go into properties okay. of that session. Under user interface, you're able to set the proper color or the color you want to emphasize the session nice. with. So That's you want really something cool. different than uh, red, you just have to select the, the color you, you're looking at. That's awesome. Man, what a great feature. Okay, uh, what's the second thing you got for us? Let's Not talk about easy. the second one. The second one is uh, the script that you need to run every week. Okay. So uh, you have many servers that you need to run a script. So what you want to do, you want to use your remote desktop manager to run all these scripts, yeah. but you don't want to look at all of the servers at the same time. Ah, so you want to be yeah. sure that you have a little thumbnails about that. So here, as you could see, I have multiple servers under my Windows folders, and I would like to start my software update weekly. Okay. This one is a macro script tools, a PowerShell that I include in okay. Remote Desktop Manager. Yes. So pretty easy. I just need to do a right click on the Windows folder, go and execute script via agent, and I select the script that I previously created. If oh, I don't neat. have one and I would just want to run uh, a specific command, I can also use other quick access here. And let's open all the connection at the same time. So I execute that. It asks me if I want to open the four sessions. Sure. Of course I want. Yeah. So. Well, that's cool. All the servers are open and the script are currently running. Oh, I don't okay, want to wow. look at all of them sure. just to be sure what happens. So I just go into thumbnails. Thumbnails also refresh. If you look at the bottom right, each three seconds. Yeah. And yeah. now I see all the servers, all the steps on them, and when they uh, they are or they require my assistance. Sure, that's so cool. And you can see it updating. Oh man, that's uh, 
That's really powerful. So you use a PowerShell to do this? Exactly. In okay, my case, cool. I just use a PowerShell, but okay. it can be many different types of... Any type of scripting correct, yeah. language. Okay, right, that's cool. Yeah. That's and awesome. If I need to jump in a server, pretty easy. Just double click on it and I'm on it. That's so, so nice. Man, yeah. what a... That's, I, okay, I'm not an expert on PowerShell. I'm learning. Uh, but uh, <laughs> that, if I knew PowerShell, I would use that. Uh, but that looks really cool, though. That's so you can monitor servers and, and execute those, uh, those scripts like that. That's really, really neat. Um, okay, great. And the last one, but not the least. Last one, okay. Yeah, each morning you have a job to perform, so you need to start multiple connections. Sure. Can be web page, SSH server, RDP server, or external application. Okay. So what I want to do, I want to create a little playlist. Oh, okay, Let's nice. talk about a fast playlist for a good morning. Like a Spotify playlist? Like no, not a Spotify <laughs> okay, playlist. Just... But if you want to include Spotify in your system, why not? Uh, you probably but... could. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about job. Let's go back on my computer. Okay, nice. So here I create a little playlist, which is Good Morning Playlist. The Good Morning Playlist start the entry selected. Yeah. So here, that is all my entries. If I go into properties of that playlist, I'm able to choose different type of servers oh, or different nice. type of sessions. Okay, yeah, yeah. If yep. you want to start your Spotify, you can link your Spotify as an external application. Actually, that's a great, that is so <laughs> cool. Okay, yeah, that's cool, yeah. So let's start the, the day. I open RDM, I click on the playlist, and I click open selection. Nice. Here we go. Now all the sessions are currently opening. Okay, wow, yeah. So I have my web page, Telemark 10, uh, SSH server. So I'm ready to work. Wow, that's so cool. So like everything's right there at your fingertips so you can start your day and do the things that you do. So basically making your daily tasks something that's part of a routine, so instead of manually clicking uh, that. now. Obviously, you had what four different sessions running? Or, uh, at that time, or, it's really small. It's I small. only have three. But yeah. you could you could make playlists with hundreds of things, right? Uh, I hope you don't start under the server <laughs> in the <laughs> morning. But yeah. uh... but you, could, you, you could probably do a bunch of different things. Uh, like exactly. Least. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Those are three great things already. Okay. Mine. I have got like mind blown right now. So <laughs> I hope uh, it will be useful. Yeah. I think it'll be at great. least one. A absolutely. So. Uh, if you guys have any features that you would like to see, uh, not only do we have Jessica, Jessica who makes fantastic how-to videos, but it's also great to have um, somebody that actually uses it every day. If you have any questions for us, please put them in the comments below. If there's something you want to see us do or you're interested in how something works, uh, I think definitely we could have David back and do some more. Of course. Hey, thanks a lot for watching today. And, Thank you very uh, much. We hope you guys like that. And thanks, uh, David, again, for coming and visiting us again. It was a pleasure. That's awesome. So till next time, guys, we're going to here to help you guys control the IT chaos. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.